Hello and welcome to our first official edition of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem. This is a show where we answer your most pressing questions about the most recent episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved, which is the Bermuda Triangle. So if you haven't seen that, stop watching this right now, go watch that, and then come back here and watch this. And a little bit at the end, we're gonna talk about Waverly because there were so many questions. That's true. Uh, it was a meaty ep. <laughs> meaty ep. Ooh, it was meaty. Don't it was refer like a big to sandwich. things as meaty. Like a big roast beef sandwich. Gross, all right. By the way, all the questions we got here today are from our Twitter and Instagram, so if you have any other questions that you'd like to see on the next BuzzFeed Unsolved postmortem, then uh, just send Woo! them to there. there send them, send them on out, send them over. There's the info. Put a little UFO over it? No, I won't do that. Uh, but yeah, if you want them answered, maybe little, we'll answer them. Little Bigfoot walking by? I'm just gonna ignore you at this little point. Spooky ghost? Okay. Put a spooky ghost. Going How straight. hard is it? Just clip art. I'm going right into the question. Okay. Uh, this one comes from somebody on Twitter, at Vintage Mixtapes. In your perspective, which theory about the Bermuda Triangle do you possibly think could be true doesn't have to be scientifically accurate? No, well, good, good thing. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't even remember a lot of those theories because they were all stupid. I'll yeah. go with like weather. I'll so, take science over no, pseudoscience no, or no, non-science no, or no, other sciences. Okay, wait a second. First, that's up, a thing that you said. Let and me it's captured. Let, it's recorded. Let me let me clarify what I meant by other science. There's other science that we don't know about. There's other science that we don't know about. If you believe in aliens, you essentially believe in the other science that I'm talking about. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying there's things we don't know. Yes, so there may be creatures like aliens that can ma manipulate things like black holes and wormholes and stuff like that. Sure. Natasaurus Rex 8 from Twitter says, did you ever look more into area underwater Area 51? Like, what's up with that? Why do you even present a theory like underwater Area 51 if there is um, no content to it whatsoever? Uh, here's the thing, do I believe underwater Area 51 is a thing? Probably not, but you know, it's a possibility. Anything's a possibility. So you can't rule... <laughs> You can't rule anything out, I suppose. Katherine Rob from Instagram, would you guys ever consider actually going to the Bermuda Triangle? I think it would be boring. Unless we were in like a sailboat. If it was just me and you in a sailboat, that would just be dangerous because we're in the sea though, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I, I don't have sailing experience. Neither do I. I mean, we would die. We would be dead. <laughs> but flying over it, yeah, I'd do that. It'd be a good app. A sailboating to well, death? Well, if we, yeah, if we sailboated to death. If you get dehydrated at sea, I think you can drink the blood of seagulls. So I know well, that much. There you go. That's. I would so never, I had to live longer than you. I prefer death. Yeah, you're right. You just cut its head off and probably just... Yeah, I'm not <laughs> draining a like seagull's a... carcass into my mouth. <laughs> this one comes from awkwardathlete007 on Instagram. What do you think about the theory that the Bermuda Triangle connects to an alternate Bermuda Triangle that is located near Japan? What are you doing? <laughs> This one comes from Jafir Talib, JT. A legend says millions of years ago, before there was humans on Earth, there was a battle between the angels of God and the demons who didn't obey God. Well, well, what's they, happening? They fought, they, fought in, they fought in demons lost, and the demons from there went to build a world. This is about the Bermuda Triangle? What's happening? Where it is on the water, and it was very sophisticated, and they say it is now called the Bermuda Triangle. Is this what this show is gonna be? The answering questions like that? <laughs> Parmaletta Avarez says, this is on Instagram, what if those who get lost in the Bermuda Triangle are time traveling? What if? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd be so bummed if I was on a ship in the Bermuda Triangle and it sank and everyone was like, maybe he's with dinosaurs now. <laughs> I never said maybe that. Maybe he got sucked into a time portal. Uh, I, I never said any of those. Maybe I he's did. king of Atlantis. I, I Meanwhile, did. my bones are being eaten by crabs I did say on the that. bottom I did of the ocean floor. I said the last one. The king of Guilty. Atlantis. Guilty. Now let's move on to Waverly. In the Waverly Hills video where you and Shane are sitting talking, was that a green screen? The first time I saw that footage, I thought, wow, it looks like we're on a green screen. Just, just believe us when that's not Please. a green screen. Also, if it was a green screen, that part when we look down the hall like this is super funny to me. Like, look at, look at that. Look at how dark and scary that hallway is. Wow, went. check that out. Um, yeah, we don't have the time to really do that. No. This one is from Fanny Million on Instagram. She says, Shane, how the fuck do you explain the blue ball stopping under Ryan's name? There's no plausible answer, except a major coincidence. There is no plausible answer, except a uh, coincidence. <laughs> so, I think you've answered your own question. Could you, there were hundreds of rooms. It's a, it's, a, it's a coincidence. It's not a coincidence, it landed under my name. Are you fucking kidding me? 50 Shades of Stranger Things asks, have you guys tried to figure out why the ball bounced two extra times? Like coming from a skeptic's point of view to debunk it. Oh my god. No. Do you think it's like 
between like the hallway and the room, there was like a lip. There's a the door. There's a doorway too. Yeah. So I think it most likely was probably bouncing, rolled, hit the lip, and then bounced a little more. There you have it. This is what it's like to live in my world. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? I want you to admit ghosts are real. The I ghost can't. was like, "Oh, here goes a bouncing ball." It was like, pop, 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 he's a he's a little kid, so he his like he probably dropped it from the yay high, like an angle height. You know, if you want to believe in ghosts, there you go. Oh well, I think it clearly bounced a couple extra times. I think he clearly. And he also put it under my name in a hallway that I did not know their room existed. So you know what? I mean, whatever. It's just a coincidence. The other thing that people always pointed out in the episode was that they thought they saw a ghost at fourteen twenty in the episode. Here's a picture of it. Uh, you did see something. However, that something is our cameraman. And I'll show that picture now, the side by side of what you think you saw and another angle, just a camera guy. That's a good example of the fact that we will never mislead you. We're not here to provide phony evidence for the sake of entertainment. No, we are not. When I first saw this though on Twitter, <sighs> I bet my, you my, were rustled. My, my brain almost exploded. Did you try to call the president? <laughs> yeah. The, the ghosts, they're real. <laughs> the ghosts, they're real, yeah, exactly. I, I got fucking Trump on the horn, and I was yeah. like, we gotta put some more money into this. So that does it for this episode. We'll be back next week after the next episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved, and we'll talk about that one. If you have any questions that you'd like us to answer on the next BuzzFeed Unsolved postmortem, send them to these things here. Spooky ghost. Watch the episode first, and then... Uh, <laughs> Frankenstein. And then send those questions in. All right, we're leaving. Wolfman. <laughs>